the Croatian box set. Denis Teripinko. Kabilan Sai is the referee. Amir Memic is the Serbian boxer. He's having his headgear fitted over in the blue corner. Round one. So we're underway then. Eight to one kilogram light heavyweight action featuring boxers from the neighboring Balkan nations of Croatia and Serbia. The man up on his toes wearing red. He just took a left hand around the corner. He's Denis Serepinko, 17 years of age. His opponent, the Serbian boxer wearing blue who just comes forward with a two-fisted salvo but didn't find a range and then he's put on the end of a single shot. That man is Almir Memic, and this one being fought at a ferocious clip in the first 30 seconds of this opening round. And a pinko, slightly taller, will be do, do well to get himself out of the corner where he found himself. A rather sustained period, winging left hook by Memic was off the mark. The left hat jab to the body was an effective shot. Good left jab by the shorter boxer in blue once again. And then a cluster of punches penetrating the, def the defenses of Serapinko. Shorter man in blue timing his punches terrifically. Oh, cracking right hand swivels the head of Serapinko. Now he's getting to work with arcing hooks from the left hand. There's another left hook which slams home from Memic. Very good portion of the round for him with just over a minute gone. Looking for that left hook once again. The right hand slow to get back to the on guard position from Serapinko. And he's going to have to make an adjustment. He's a taller boxer. His shots look rather more languid. And in the meantime, short, crisp left hooks have been rattled around the corner and finding a home on the side of his head guard. There's the same shot in evidence once again. And Memic with a blistering start, good right hand over the top, causing Cherepinko to adjust his head guard. A standing count could well be forthcoming here. And there it is, a sustained burst of pressure. Accurate punches crashing home from Memic. And with two minutes gone, we have our first standing count. So, oh, terrific punch picking with the left hand once again from Memic. And he's targeting the body effectively as well. Cherepinko gamely trying to box back, but Memic giving him no room to breathe. Cherepinko cleverly turns the tables to put Memic in the corner, but Memic gets himself out of that confined position. Bobs and weaves nicely underneath the punches, pushed out by Serapinko. And then the Sunday punch has landed once again. The left hook, which he's had so much success with in this opening round. Cherepinko trying to shoot down the middle, but he's being outworked and outpunched through this portion of the opening round as we arrive near the 10 second clapper. Well, he's trying to fight fire with fire, but I'm not quite sure how smart a strategy, strategy that is. And he takes a hard left hand to the body that brings about a reaction. Now, Memic will have noted that and may well look to tickle his ribs once again. It's been a torrid opening three minutes endured by the 17 year old in red. My goodness, a brilliant first round by Almir Memic completely swarming his man, giving him very little time to think, very little time to breathe, and that is why it is 10-8 for two of the five scoring judges. Memic from Serbia sweeping the first round unanimously. Oh, he set his stall out and went to work with bent on punches from both flanks, but it was the left hook in re repeatedly, just like that there. that he had continual success with over the course of the opening round. Cherepinko tried to keep, keep himself in contention, but he was being 
hit from all angles when his back was to the ropes, and that's why a standing count was issued in that first round. Round two. So into the second round then. Both of these men representing boxing teams. I don't feature any female boxers. Five men on the Croatian boxing team. Four men on the Serbian squad. Right hand over the top is a good shot once again from them. It's Cherepinko trying to, again, engage him and fight back. But I'm surely he needs to get up on his toes as a hard right left crashes home. No standing eight count. Cherepinko, you have to admire his toughness, his conditioning and his chin. But I'm not quite sure he's boxing to his strengths here. Because surely, given his stature and that of his opponent, Cherepinko should be trying to box. But increasingly, it looks as though Cherepinko wants to have a fight. And Memic appears to be far better equipped, far better suited to fighting in that type of territory. Cherepinko cleverly turning the tables once again. Cuffing right hook was landed with the inside of the glove. Oh, that's a beautiful corkscrew left, snaked out by Memic. And it brings about the second standing count of the contest. Well, when neighboring nations take to the boxing ring, or indeed any sporting endeavor, it often these derbies in effect, even though we're dealing with nations, so much emotion involved. And that perhaps fueling the intensity as another right hand crashes home and it brings about a conclusion to the contest. Almir Memic absolutely delighted. His non-stop punching was accurate and effective, and eventually it took his man out of there in the second round. Denis Cherepinko, well, he had some successes, but they were sporadic and short-lived compared to the sustained success that Memic was able to enjoy courtesy of his terrific punch picking from both flanks. Hooks crashing around the corner, right hands over the top, and the shot which brought about the second standing count was a snaking cork Ladies through left. Here's the verdict. Second round is Blue Corner, Almir Memic, Serbia. So Almir Memic of Serbia winning by a second round stoppage, producing two standing counts in that contest. And his arcing punches, effective indeed. He goes through to the round of 16.